Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to show tutorial messages up in the center of the screen to teach players about new mechanics in your mod. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to be going into Riverwood here and I'm going to place a test dummy over here that when activated, it's going to come up with a little tutorial message right in the center of the screen telling you about what it is and how to use it. Now, obviously, that's not really a very good use for this. It's just what I'm coming up with to show you how it works in the tutorial. And I'm sure you've got much better uses for them. So an example in the game would be at the very start of the game, when you're making that jump in Helgen uh, after Alduin smashed through the wall, and it says press Y to jump. So what we'll be able to do is actually show sort of button for whether it's keyboard or controller uh, to tell you what you can click. So it's really, really cool. Uh, it'll be a lot more clearer a bit later on when we've done it. Uh, so like I say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a dummy and place it in the world. Now this will involve a script. However, you don't really need to know any scripting for this. Uh, there are default scripts in the game. I just don't think there's one for sort of little help message tutorials. Uh, so I'll be providing one and putting it in the description down below. So I've got my dummy here and what I want to do is when I click on it, it gives me a little message. So I'm going to go into here. Uh, this is an activator. You can, of course, use any method that you want. So in my modder cat's life, it actually works off of different dialogue. So when I interact with some dialogue, it fires off a script. So it can be any event, essentially. It can be on talking, on activate, on being hit, anything like that. You can really get creative. Uh, but my script will focus on using the activate event. So what you'll see is I've already edited the base object here accidentally. I shouldn't have done that. I should make a new ID, but it's not a problem. It's just a test tutorial. So make a unique version if you're editing something and then go in and you can add the script in. This will be in the tutorial down below. It'll be either on my OneDrive or in my sort of resource section uh, on the Skyrim Nexus. So I'll put that down below. Now I've got my script here. So if I just go into here, open it in my editor, I use Sublime Text 3. If you want to know how to get this installed and use this yourself for Skyrim, it does all the compiling, all of the recommendations as you type. Uh, I've got a video on it, which I will also link down in the description. So here, I'm just going to explain the script. It's really, really simple. Uh, essentially, all it does is it's got a wait time, a tutorial message, and also a tutorial code, which I've kind of done some testing and figured out exactly how that kind of works. Uh, so what it does on activate, it will wait a specified amount of time. Uh, I think what I might do with this as well is set it default as zero. And I will state that in the tool tip. Don't worry about understanding that. Um, so essentially by default, it's on zero and you can set it to whatever you need. So if you do put a setting on it, it will wait that period of time in seconds. Uh, I should say seconds as well. I'll wait that amount of seconds then fire off. Now the reason that I do this is because you may well be activating something that goes into dialogue or goes into a menu and you want it to wait until you're outside of the menu for it to show otherwise it's going to be sitting behind the menu or behind the dialogue option. Um, it just gives you a bit of leeway to say okay if I'm activating this thing and something's happening wait until that's done and then it can kick in. Uh, so it's quite handy. So what this script does is on activate, waits that set period of time, and then it does a tutorial dot show as help message. So show your tutorial message here. And it's got tutorial code, which is linking up with the string here. So it's just whatever you type in. And it's got 7, 30, and 1. Now these are linking up with the duration. So how long you want it to show on the screen. For me, 7 seconds is pretty good, especially if it's a kind of long-winded one. Uh, there is a bit of a limit to how much you can type in until it kind of just cuts off and you can't read it all. So keep it to a, a nice single line of text if you can. Uh, but after 7 seconds, yeah, it's a good amount of time for you to kind of read it and be done with it because you don't want it hanging around for too long, but you don't want it to flash up so quick that people miss it. So the interval 30 seconds, if you have this show multiple times, so they can kind of activate it and be like, oh, wait a minute, what was that? And activate it again. If you want a bit of a gap, a period of time between being able to see it again, so it doesn't just sort of keep overlaying on itself, you can put like a timer. So for me, I put 30 seconds. Personally, where I've used this in the past, I don't really have it appear more than once. I think once is fine, but you may be in a situation where you want to be able to show it multiple times. That's where this final value comes in that you can change. I might may I may well make this more modular. So I'll have these as integers that you can literally just set. Um, 
No, I'll, I'll probably leave it actually. I mean, yeah, you could do them as integers or you can just edit the script directly. It just means that um, if these are ints, then people can literally do it in the properties and it saves having to edit the script. But yeah, I'll probably leave it as is. Anyway, so that's going a bit off track. So essentially, yeah, it just waits. It shows the message for the specified amount of time with gaps in between and the amount of times that you would like. Uh, the tutorial code is the interesting part. So this is what it's going to use to identify this specific tutorial. So what you can do is you can call it. Um, I usually use an, a number of letters. So I'll show you in a moment when we actually put this in. Um, but what it means is it will use that tag. So if this is on any other sort of object that has the same tag, if it's already hit the maximum number, then it's not going to show on that object. Um, if it's meant to show three times and you've activated this object, that will count as one. And anything else with this tutorial code uh, will then start from this is the second activation, the third activation, or it can't be activated anymore. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and compile that. Click that off. And um, once you've added the script, so you won't need to change it, make any adjustments. This will just be in the description, like I say. You'll add it on. Uh, I would rename it as your own script, just so that you're not including mine in. Um, because if we have a load of people that use the exact same script name and somebody makes an edit to this in another mod that goes on top of your own, then it could cause problems. So always make sure that if you do use one of my scripts, uh, you, you rename it and make it your own. Uh, so we've got tutorial, our code and our wait time. I'm going to have it wait for one second, so I can type that in, and that's what I meant about the properties. If you made those other values also integers, then you could just sort of change them in here and make it quite modular. Uh, so tutorial, I am, I don't have one yet. I'll fill that in in a moment. And the code, make the code very, very unique, not something that other mods could end up using the same code for. So for me, df, uh, let's put, I don't know, df dummy thing I don't know that would just make it you the chances of anybody calling anything that um, they're quite remote just click OK on that so I'm first going to make my message so I'm going to go into misc here and go to message and I'm just going to wipe this out I'm actually going to search for tutorial here and if I double click on the follower one this is an example of one in the game and you'll see that they've got these little tags here that says activate. So whatever key is kind of mapped to activate is going to actually show in this tutorial. Uh, the same goes for cancel and there's a bunch of tags on the creation kit wiki that you can use and I'm just going to go ahead and copy the activate one. It's just going to be easier. So we're going to want to go ahead and make our own message box here. So if we do right click and new, I'm going to give it a name df message new say new tutorial and go that'll bother me it's meant to be an e there and then we're going to give it a title so just test i'm not sure if this actually displays over the top of it or if it's just a nice sort of thing in the creation kit i don't think we really need that but we'll see when we go in game and test it out afterwards so this is a test tutorial press oh sorry not a <laughs> activate and the reason that you want to use the actual tags is because somebody might be using an Xbox controller and another person might well be using a keyboard, for example, uh, meaning that it's just going to show the correct button. So for the controller, it's going to show A and then on the keyboard, I think it's E, isn't it? Uh, put a full stop. So there you go. And then you can use a bunch of the other tags, any tags that you need, which is really handy. This is nice and short and sweet, and this should show in the middle of the screen. Uh, make sure that it's ticked to be a message box as well, and you should be good to go. So I'm going to click OK on that one. You'll see it appears there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill that property in. And it's going to be DF message new tutorial. There we go. That's all filled in. And then if I go to the name here, uh, I want to make sure that this can be actually activated. Uh, so I'll give it a name. Dummy Dude. There we go. Why not? Okay. And what I can actually do, just an extra thing for activators, is I can change it from saying activate to inspect, if I so wish. Impact. No, nope. inspect. There we go. Click OK and OK. And save. Okay, so now I've hopped in game and we can try this out. The creation kit decided to crash, so I had to rebuild it, which was interesting. Um, but yeah, it, it should be working. So if we go up to our test dummy, you'll see it says inspect dummy dude. And when you press on it, there was about a second delay, which is what I asked for. And it comes up saying this is a test tutorial 
press A and you'll see that it's actually got A for the controller button as I do use controller when I'm playing Skyrim um, but if it was the PC I think it would be like a square box with an E in it so it'd be for pressing E uh, which is really cool so you've got the specific tag you've got the wait time in there just in case anything would show beforehand and um, yeah you'll see if I activate it again it doesn't actually show because I told it to only ever activate once but like I say, you can attach that to pretty much anything. Um, a perfect example, you look like a trap. actually, Someone not Sven, who's trying to talk to me. A perfect sword. example is a cat's life, my cat over here. So if I do an observe dialogue option, you'll see it comes up with one on here as well. Observe cats to see if they're friendly or not. Uh, discover new stray cats throughout Skyrim, some may be friendlier than others. I've got multiple ones that are sort of running off that one. Um, for discovering a cat and so on and so forth so really good example but again um, if I come up to here it won't happen again now if I'd have set it for a maximum of two shows and put about a 15 second delay in between before it could show again if I was to activate it again here it would have shown but I've got the limits of one uh, nice and simple and that is just about it for this video so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to see more videos in the future such as this one you can also go ahead and support my work if you so wish over on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.